Hi everyone, welcome to Escort YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a 3D glass morphism image gallery like this. You can see on my screen here, I am moving this, and you can see this 3D animation here. And I will make in this tutorial fully in this video. And before starting this video, make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notifications and all updates and more videos just like this. Now, let's open my VS Code here, and here is my VS Code. So, now here I will type this shape plus one and we will open this and now we will make some zoom here so that you can watch that all text as finally so here I will change that title so here I am typing this 3d glass morphism animation you can see here this I have added the title is 3d glass morphism animation image gallery so here under this body section here I will open that class name here that is IMG box and this class name is I have opened here and under this class name here and I will open this span tag I will add a span tag here and after this span tag here I will add a style the integer tag here this I will add that star integer function and that will be I'm using this tag for this serial to make this serial all of images here. So here I will add the image here. So I'm the SRC here, and then I will add here the image here. I'm just one dot png. So this is my image file. I have I'm using into this tutorial total four images, and this four images link you will find in my description. You can download from there. So now I'm removing that alert titles here. So after making this, and now I will just copy and paste this line. I want to using that almost I want to make it 10 times to 8 to 10 times here. So here I will change this serial number here 1, 2, 3, and 4. I have already using that only 4 images, so that's why I'm going to read rewrite that all images section number. Three four. Oh sorry, I have made that wrong. Here let's need to the serial and here I will need to image that like that on 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's it. I'm, I want to be using the this the total is 8 images. And here I need to change that image value. I have a total of this image 4 images here, and I will change that image value is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and again it started 1 2 3 4 so I'm using that 4 images mg1 mg2 mg3 and mg4 and here I am starting this here I'm using that as a 1 2 3 4 again so this is our images and this is all affected here now let's see what it's showing into our view base you can see just like this this all images is showing like that so now let's go to here and under this body section here I will open my style file or you can use an another external style file here also so here I am using the basic CSS file that is margin 0 and padding 0 and here we will add this box sizing will be border box so then we have to add this that body section we will copy this this body and paste here and under this body CSS we will make some design here that is we will make some background and okay let's add it that I will add first of all this display flex and here we will add this min height so min height will be and it VS that will be a full skin and all our element will be goes to center for this I'm using just a content center and here this align items I'm also using that center and then I'm going to add a background. So here I'm going to background add the background is black that is zero zero. So now if you open that and you can see here the plain black background you can see inside this. And this all images is transparent images here. So after that, after this body section is completed here. So now I will copy this class name here, IMG box. And after this body, here I will add this class name. And now we have to add this position first of all so we want to make here this position is relative 
so after making this position relative and now we will make a width and height so we've set that width is 200 pixel and here i will add another is height is also 200 pixel that will be a rectangle as a burger cut. and you can see here this after adding this and now i will add a transform preserve okay, now we will add here this transform origin sorry transform style so the transform style will be here i will make this transform style is preserve 3d so here this all images will be as a 3d effect now let's open it and you can see here this images is like that one by one and i will make this effect it here so now let's copy this class name again and paste here and now we'll copy this span after this classes we have a span so let's copy that span here and enter here now open the css file and here we will add a position will be absolute so because of that we want to make absolute here okay position here some adding that position is absolute here and now i will add this top zero and the left is also zero so i want to make this is top and left it's a image of our 3d gallery will we start from this left and zero will be zero it will not take any space from there so after that we will add here width and height so it is 100 percent and height also the same height also same that is 100 percent so now we will add a transform origin here so it will be transform direction for this and we will make this transform origin this direction will be in the center that this our main transaction or 3d gallery main center will be in center that point so that's why we are direction that transform origin will be center here and now we will add this transform style okay transform style transform style will be we will use that same as preserve 3d and now if you open it and you can see what you will see there you can see just like this here so we have one but with this all we have more seven images that is images one by one below that and now we will make it transform so here we will add a transform is rotate that will be we will make this rotate here and that will add calci so here we want to make using a calculation that is var and we want to make a serial bar here integer here and after this section here now we will add that is we will add this this all element will be as a 45 degree this is the circle before this circle point as we can see here the transform origin center from this center this every images will be set as a 45 degree angle so here this after adding this 45 degree angle here and now here i will add this translate set so it will be z direction this z direction distance will be 400 pixel and after adding that and if you want to see that you will be see that like that 3d image is almost created here so after that effected and now we'll make this a webkit background here so that will be a transform this webkit background here so i'm adding that webkit background webkit box reflected okay webkit box reflect okay i think i made this option here it will be high and now you can see webkit box reflected shown is almost showing here because we want to make first of all serial and then it will be show here automatically here so now we will make it this except blow it will be reflect will be blow here and it will be zero pixel and here i will add a background color will be linear gradient and here i will add this transparent
and again transparent and here I will add now is background is zero okay now if we see that and this reflection will be shown here you can see this type of reflection is showing here now we have to go from there and just copy this class name again from here and enter here and now I will add IMG for this IMG section will add in here so here we will be with this position will be absolute and top and bottom will be left is zero and within height and everything is zero so just I'm copying from here and I will add here and after adding this this transform origin is almost we have now here so now we'll open it and you will be see that you can see it's like this it's showing here so here we have to add a rotate is y so it will be as a y direction this all element and item you can see here this all item is showing here as a y direction here so you can see this type of all item is here this we get this reflection below here so now we'll add a animation here so first of all here is I'm adding a border radius that will be set this border radius is 10 pixel and here is I'm adding for this images so and then we'll add a box shadow will be 0 0 and 30 pixel hashtag for the color code so this is our color code for this box shadow here and now we will see that the box shadow will be shown here you can see just like this and you can see the background is transparent and this is like a glass morphism so now we'll make this animation here so we have to go there IMG box and here I will add a animation that will be animation animate animate here I will add um, 30 second linear infinite so now we have this animation properties already here so now we'll make this animation run here so just copy this animation property and under this section we'll open here this keyframe so keyframe here now we'll add this animation property and now we'll make this when it is 0% so it will be here this transform will be so we'll add this 0% and this transform will be perspective here we'll make it will be 2000 pixel here and it will be rotated rotated will be 0 degree and it will be which direction that is y direction here so now we'll make it copy this again copy and paste it here so now we'll change the value is here this variable is 100 percent and here this already here and now we just change this here this 360 degree so now we'll see that its rotation is working here as a 3d gallery effect you can see just like this this rotation is here and if you wanted to make some more slow or more faster so you can just change that's the second value is the animation second value here so if you want to make it for more faster so you can make it a five second so here you can see this animation effect is so much so much is in case that and it's so fast that you can see that it but i want to make some low here so here i'm adding this three sec 30 second so now our animation is completed so now we'll add this background rgb color for this we'll go to this body section and here we'll add a animation property here again and here we'll add this color okay color and now we'll add here this color will be changes for second date here I will add the five second linear infinite so now copy this the animation properties color and here we will open another keyframe and add an animation property here and after this section here and now we'll make this 0% when it is 0% um, that and we'll add a background color for this it will be filter and hue rotate 0 degree so when it is 0% so it will be as 0 degree and now copy paste again it and now we'll change the variable for the value is okay here i will add value is 100 percent and it will be rotation to this color rotation will be 360 degree 
So now open it here. Open with this live server, and you can see here there's so much different color is every five seconds that color is changed in the background. And you can see the box shadow and this element color property and everything is almost changing within every five seconds that background color is changing here. And it will be 360 color effect for RGB color will be affected here. So hope you understand that how can we make it this type of design here. So if you understand that two videos here, this full tutorial, and you can find this all images link you will find in my description. You can download from there and you can start it make your the practice for this project here. You can make like this. And if you make some more practice, you can make better than us like that. So hope you enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video, please like on this and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon for option all updates. Thank you so much for watching this video.